Welcome back, friends, to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. This is what all the craziness is gonna look like when we're done opening all of our superheroes. Doesn't this look amazing? Please hit the subscribe button below if you have not already subscribed. Click on the little bell for notifications so that you can be alerted next time we have a new video to come out. And guys, let us know where you're watching from and let us know who's your favorite character out of this set. So, let's go ahead and get started, right? Now. Welcome back, friends, to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Today I'm so excited because we have Spider-Man Homecoming, the complete build a figure series set for Marvel's Vulture. This is incredible. These look amazing. And we also have just in the nick of time, we have this two set, this two pack featuring Spider-Man and Iron Man Sentry. This is the robot without Iron Man inside. If you'll remember the movie, it was so awesome. And so, guys, I can't wait to get started. Let's take a quick look to see who's in this set. Now, in this set, we have Spider-Man with the full Iron Man um, uh, suit that he made for him. The original Iron Man suit that he made for him. Not the Iron Spider suit. Uh, Spider-Man with his original homemade costume. We have Marvel's Moon Knight. We have Cosmic Spider-Man, even though it doesn't say Cosmic, that's who it is. And we have two uh, si uh, sinister villains. This is Marvel's Tombstone and Marvel's Beetle. And then we have Marvel's Vulture. And then, as I mentioned a moment ago, we do have Spider-Man in the unmasked version. And we also have Iron Man in Sentry Mode. So why don't we get started? And as we get started opening this first Spider-Man, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for all of you who have subscribed to our channel so far. We're about to, as I'm recording this, we're at 2,990. We're about to get to 3,000, hopefully during this video. And so I can't thank you enough. So guys, continue to support our channel. I'll continue to make great videos for you guys. All right, so let's get this open. Oh, let's take a look. I almost get overzealous, right? So... When crime hits the big city, Peter Parker suits up as New York's own web-slinging, wall-crawling hero, Spider-Man. Now, this is a great photo on the back of what it can look like. And let's get this bad boy open. Boy, I'm super excited for this one. Nice. All right. And right off the bat, we have a piece of... Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, we didn't even take a close look at that. Let's take a close look right here at Vulture. So if you'll notice, this is this piece right here. So Spider-Man comes with the one, the other Spider-Man two, looks like it just matches the other side, right? Three with Moon Knight, we have this wing, four with Cosmic, comes over here, five with Tombstone, six with Beetle, and seven comes with Vulture. So that looks like it's going to be super epic. Look how huge that is. Can't wait to get it open. All right, so here we are with our first Build-A-Figure piece. We'll need to set this aside. And wow, look at the crazy detail on this. I thought it might move, perhaps. It does not, but it looks amazing. Look at that. Obviously, it attaches here. So we'll set this aside right now, but this has got some amazing, amazing detail right on over here. All right, so let's get our Spider-Man out. Look at these great interchangeable heads. So if you'll take a look right away, you'll notice that he has this extra joint right here. I love that when that happens because you can bring the arms so much further across and you can have so much greater like poses. Yeah, buddy. Let me just say, that is outstanding. So I'm glad that we have that extra joint. Doesn't always happen with every uh, figure and character. All right, and it moves at the waist. Yeah, this is already an amazing figure. Look at this, and it crunches at the abs. You know all my favorites. Of course, we have the double joints right here and just need to make sure the arm goes straight, and it does. This has already turned out to be super, super amazing. And let's make sure the head can go all the way back, please. That's close enough. It doesn't go all the way, all the way. You know what? 
It's going a little bit further back. Woo, look at that. That is awesome. Okay, so Peter Parker was like, that looks great. Okay, let's see if it goes all the way down. It sure does. Boom. Look at that. The amazing Spider-Man. In a world full of web fl Okay, just kidding. Here we go. So, God, this character looks amazing. It's got all the points of articulation that you know that I love. And I'm sure that you love too. So, look at this. Double joints of the knees. The boots look amazing. The ankles swivel back and forth, to and fro. And so we can definitely get some great action poses with this. Look at this. Great. Don't forget, the suit's name is Karen, because he named it Karen. There we go. And then, of course, we can turn it right here on the thigh, so we can get even better poses. Look at this. Boom. That looks super great. Look at that. All right, let's turn the, the leg a little more um, <laughs> naturally. How it would turn. You know, what's interesting is that this figure does not have where it turns right here, which is typically what you see when you see these right here. So, let's crunch right here at the waist. And look how great that looks already. This is awesome. Sling it into action. This looks amazing. Right, let's look, see what other pieces we Oop. These little web things right here. Now they accidentally flew out, so I'm not 100% sure which is which. As far as which side it goes on, I'm sure it's easy to figure out. Just... Alright, let's see. This attaches right on over in here. Okay, and boom, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? All you gotta do is slide it right in this little slot right here. Boom. That definitely looks great. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. All right, and let's see what else we got in here. We have a different head to switch out, and we have two different hands. Now, these are mismatching hands, because he already has the mismatching hands in uh, on Peter, you notice, because we have a fist here, and we have a uh, web slinging hand. So this other one would be the matching web slinging hand, and this other one would be the other fist. So you got double fist, and let's see what the other head would look like, right? We want to see that. So just kind of twist, and. What do you think about this head? Oh, we didn't get it on all the way. So his neck looks amazingly long. The amazingly long neck Spider-Man. All right, which head do you prefer? Now I know that they both look cool and they look like that for different reasons at different times, but if we have to leave one on for display, which one would you want? This one looks super cool. I think I'd actually want this one. Hmm, I don't know, this one actually looks pretty mean oh and you know what guys I want to tell you like if I gonna want to pick one of these up if you still haven't they're hard to find I will tell you they're not expensive they're just hard to find usually you gotta find them like on the internet so uh, it was less than $20 I don't even remember if it was more than 12 I think it was just like a little bit more than $10 and so once again what a great way to pose our heroes by just cinching this right here whoops Let's put this back on right over here. And this right over here. And all you gotta do is just... Look at that. You wanna see a really cool pose right there? Check this out. And I'm gonna use this to take a picture. And you know what? I can even like move it a little further back. That way he's like... Meh. I don't know if I like that one. That's... And then you can also turn it. You'll see. So we pop this out. Boom. Turn it upside down. Sideways. 
This is how we got that really cool action pose on the Avengers uh, Infinity War one. So, bring it like this. Let's bring his arm out. That's how we got that pose that was like that. And we can just angle it. What do you think? Super cool? Let's get that one closer also. Take a really cool shot. See, we can't focus on that hand right there. And see, we can get a really awesome close photo. Boom! All right, so this looks incredibly amazing. The head looks great, the switch out hands, but guess what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one as it is. Leave it right here. I wish we had more of these. Every time I go to the comic book store to find some, they're like, sorry guy, we're on back order. We don't have any more right now. And I'm like, when? They're like, soon. And I'm like, how soon? They're like, I don't know. You can check online. They always tell me, you can check online. You know what? Let's, let's get them a really cool, like, like this, but we're gonna want to continue using this for the other characters, so I'm sorry that I took Spider-Man out of it, but we're gonna want to use it for... Ah, I can't find just the perfect pose so that we can leave him in. That doesn't look crazy. Ah, alright, let me take these out for now, since I just want to pose him. There we go. That looks super cool in itself. Boom. All right, next. Let's see who we got here. We have a Spider-Man with his homemade costume, the homemade suit, right? We got a hoodie right here. Let's let's get it open. Oh, why do I keep doing that? <laughs> let's read the back first. When Peter Parker discovers spider-like senses and wall-crawling abilities, he develops his own suit to become Spider-Man. Look how great this looks. Doesn't that look awesome? It looks just like the movie. All right, let's get this bad boy open. All right. Once again, we have our vulture build a figure piece. This is basically just the opposite piece of the other wing. This looks amazing, looks incredible, it's got incredible detail. We'll set that aside. All right, next, we will pull out this Spider-Man. And man, does he look great. Look at this. We got the hoodie down, and we have the option for hoodie up, which looks like we'll have to take the head off to do so. That's quite all right. And let's take a look. Okay, so obviously this one doesn't have the extra joint where the arms are gonna come further in, but let's see if we can at least get the arms completely straight. Uh, uh, mm, that's close, but I think we're not gonna get them. Ooh, it looks like it almost did. Sometimes they don't. So it's important to be able to get, our, yeah, this one will go, to get our arms completely straight. Great, good. Because sometimes you have them where they're, all, they're still like this, and this is the straightest they'll get, and then you'll break them if you do any further, but great. At least we can do that. All right, crunches at the abs, moves the hips. Couldn't ask for anything more on that. That looks great. Let's see how much the head moves. Uh, doesn't move too far back, actually. And doesn't move too far down. So it doesn't have great mobility on the, on the head, but it definitely moves enough to still have great action poses. But it's Spider-Man, so you want his head to be able to go all the way back so he can look up. So, a little disappointed in that, but I'll deal with it. Let's pop the head off. Let's take the part with the hoodie down off. Let's put this hoodie on. You know what? I guess I'm gonna have to put it on through here because how else are we gonna get this on there? Interesting. So, there we go. What do you think? Cool with the hoodie? I think so. I think it looks super awesome. All right, and look, if you take a closer look, we have right here where he puts the cartridges to shoot the web out on both hands. We got one fist. Once again, we have 
mismatching hands. So then we have mismatching replacement hands. Okay. And look at the cool Spider-Man symbol. It's only on the front. The boots. Look at that. This is like super cool. Oh, like I was telling you earlier, when you have this here on the thigh, you usually have this here on the shin. And so we got great mobility. We got the uh, look at the cool wrinkles on the pants. That's some great detail right there. And so let's see. We have this other hand, which which would match that one. And we have this fist, which would match that one. The red on the back, right? So those look great. Do you want to leave the hood on, or do you want to put the hood back on where it's the hood's down? I guess we'll leave the hood on, right? And let's see. Let's get some great pose points here. This is where he's just chilling, waiting for Happy Hogan to give him a call. Hey, Happy, tell Mr. Stark I'm ready for my next mission, right? Just chilling. Let's see. Let's get the legs straight. Let's got him just kicking back. He got his leg, put his leg down. And there he is, just chilling, waiting for Happy Hogan to call him. It's like, come on. That looks great. Love, love, love the way that looks. Let's take a quick picture. Look at that. Boom! That looks amazing. All right. So, let's set him right over here. Next to other Spider-Man. That looks outstanding. So, now next. What do we have? We have... Moon Knight! And this one, let me tell you, just pops off the shelf with the way it looks. Look how outstanding this looks. And I'm gonna remember to read the back first this time. A vision in an Egyptian temple leads Mark Spector to don a silver shroud and become the crime-fighting superhero Moon Knight. This is definitely a fan favorite for years and years. And, you know, they changed his story around as the years have gone on. But Mar um, Moon Knight has definitely been a fan favorite for a long time. So, wow, check out this build a figure. This is going to be a massively huge, epic vulture. Look at this. This is great. Incredible little detail right here on this. Oh, look, here's where it, where it pivots and swivels. All right, we'll set that aside. Moon Knight comes with accessories. He's going to be a little harder to see. So, let's see if I can take out the... I don't know if I'll be able to take out the cable without taking out the head. I guess I can kind of just squunch it in there. Don't know if that's the preferred method, but that's one way, right? And look how great this character looks. Man! This character looks beefy, looks modern. Let me see. His arm's not straightening out. So tell me it straightens out all the way, please. Oh, interesting. This hand actually pivots side to side instead of up and down like this, it actually goes like this. So that's different. I haven't seen that before. Um, he does not have the extra joint to come forward. The arm, didn't even check because I was so excited about that. Looks like it doesn't come completely straight. So that's unfortunate because that's important. Comes straight-ish, but it's only because the hand ends up curving out. So I guess that's a plus at least. Let's see, we have this peg so that the cape stays in there. Got really great detail. Moves at the waist, clicks for some reason. Right here, does an ab crunch dealy. The hood is not attached to the cape, so obviously we can change that move around. And let's take a look. Wow, cool boots. You know what, I would have actually liked this detail to come all the way across on who designed it, 
and I know it's based off the comic, but still, because these shoes look like super cool ones that I would buy, and especially if this was a boot, but I would like it to come all the way around. That would look amazing. But anyway, that's a very small detail. Look at the face. We got blue rock and the blue eyes. So no one knows what it's like behind blue eyes. And yeah, the gloves. Everything looks great about this character. The cape. Let me tell you. Looks outstanding. Now let's see what sort of accessories we got here. Okay, so these are both open hands that he has and I like the way this look and then we have two fists so these look super cool we can always switch out the fists uh, I don't really have a need to do so right now because I want to take out our accessories looks like we have this that goes from a staff to like two sticks right so he can definitely get some crime fighting action going that looks awesome loving this Wow, this is really flimsy on this one. So, not digging the flimsiness, but whatever. Uh, let me at least curve it backwards. That's what it's like. So this looks really awesome. Kind of looks like um, Black Widow. And then, of course, the wrist pivots in and out. That's kind of cool. So... We can turn the head this way, we can bend the arm in, and then he's ready to, to rock someone's world. That looks awesome. And let's see, we have some little throwing little crescent moons, right? Wow, they're super flimsy. Let's see where I might want to put these. Is there anywhere he can carry them on his body? Because I definitely don't want to lose them. Uh, wow, it doesn't even hold it. So, where does this go? It doesn't go on the fist. I was like, maybe it has a little hole so we can hold it in the fist. It does not. So, let's go back to that picture and see if maybe there's somewhere where he holds them. And it did say that. Look. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not seeing that I, I'm able to have him hold it like that. Let's try to copy that. So, all right, well, I guess it's not like super sturdy in there, but I guess it still worked. Now, what about those two, those tiny ones? I don't know what we're gonna do with those tiny ones. If you have a better idea than me, because I don't see anywhere those tiny ones can go, then comment below. I'll read your comment. Man, this hood looks awesome. Loving the way that looks. But yeah, look look how tiny these are. They're like little like pinky nail clippings. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to take them off since this one is so much larger and looks like it won't get lost like those. Well it could still, but anywho. I'm gonna leave this in here so we can store it later. And not lose those bad boys. So throw that back in there. And let's get him all set up here. Let's get him ready to spring into action. There we go, that looks super cool. How awesome is that? Let's come down and take a quick picture. And Boom. All right, great. Great, great, great. Let's move our Moon Knight right over here. Guess he's cool right here, right? So, uh, let's move our Spider-Man. Just a smidge. Now we can have Moon Knight chilling right over here. I guess we'll move this up just a hair. That way. Boom. Okay, great. Now, we are going to open... Now, this says Spider-Man, but this is Cosmic Spider-Man. Now, this one's a pretty radical story. So if you're not familiar with this, 
At first glance, this character doesn't look too amazing because look, it looks like he's wearing like painting overalls or who knows what and like what's going on here. Um, but yet we have these heads. Well, let's read the back and then we'll talk about it. With incredible strength, stamina, and cosmic senses, Spider-Man battles tirelessly on the side of universal justice. So, we're going to get this guy open. Now what you need to know is that this version of Spider-Man actually is basically invincible. Cannot be stopped. He has cosmic powers. Check it out. This is the other wing, right? Set that aside. So, this Spider-Man has this like cosmic uh, powers. He also has, you know, cosmic knowledge. He basically can know what's going on anywhere in the whole universe at any given time. He has any power that you can think except bring people back from the dead. He can heal people. He can bestow powers upon people. And it's pretty wild how incredibly powerful this version of Spider-Man is. Now, uh, it's important to note that he was given uh, the powers by Captain Universe. And that's what this is. So it was with him for a little bit and then it ends up leaving his body. And basically anytime the world or the universe is in danger, uh, the, that Captain Universe has the ability to go and... Uh, basically bond with with this uh, with our hero and it's kind of a cool story and then of course once no longer needed poof, it's gone so spider-man doesn't stay like this permanently but while he does have this power he does have like the knowledge of previous uh, captain universes and so and the powers of them and it's just all sorts of wild so this is why it's cool to have this character because he's just ridiculous when it comes to power and ability. And it was not a permanent state, so it's important you know that. So I will say that, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the way this figure looks. It looks pretty cool how it's like shiny metallic with the blue and uh, the design here because it definitely borrowed that straight out of the comic book I don't like how this looks like kind of like painters overalls but you know once again copy that design let's give them let's see what the different heads look like so ah this neck is a little bit looser than I would have liked otherwise there we go all right so which head are you liking better so far this one or this one I think I'm still liking this one better right this one looks kind of, I don't know. And then, of course, we have our Peter Parker head. Ugh, if I can get it on. There we go. Actually, I think this one might be the best one, in my opinion. Although, once again, it looks like these are just overalls and he's painting. But it's definitely got a good, great, excellent detail on this hair and this beard and mustache. So it looks super cool. I'll tell you that. I don't know if... This is the best body for this head, but great detail on the hairstyle. All right, cool. So I'm actually gonna put the original head back on. And we'll pose him. He's so powerful that he doesn't need to be having like an action pose. He just needs to be like standing very like strong and ominous and that's it, right? So we'll have him just straight cold chilling. Let's take a picture of him. There we go. That's it. All right. Set him right over here. And move our heads to the side. And next, we have Marvel's Tombstone. Now, this character looks like he has no accessories has nothing with him I don't know I I don't know if I'm gonna be disappointed opening this one so I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of this uh, character either all right so let's take a look this looks really cool an additional piece 
to build our vultures, his wings, right? This looks really cool. Wow, it spins there and here. So that looks super amazing. We'll set that aside. Let's take a look here. Now, several things. First of all, I didn't really like the way this character looked in the comics. He looks a lot like how he looked in the comics with that nose all the way up there. With those crazy, like, Jack Nicholson eyebrows. The filed down teeth. So, I mean, he looks pretty true to the comics. He's got this flat top. I don't know if I'm digging this collar up. It's a bit much. And I don't know if I'm digging the fact that it looks like his shirt is not only just open, but then tucked in. Who has a tucked in open shirt? So, oh, he's a little bit loose too. Look at that. He's just very... All right. Well, in any event, we did need this character to build our vulture, but I definitely could have used someone else from the movie or something, right? What about Shocker? That would have been cool to have Shocker instead of this one from the movie, right? So, in any event, his joints are also looser than I would have liked. Uh, he does move at the waist, does crunch at the abs. The head has limited motion based on the collar, but still turns side to side. Um, moves right here on the high thigh, moves right here on the, on the shin. Looks like these are, I guess for the boots to look cool, but at the same time, why are they not just attached? Why would I want those loose? I don't want like cuffs hanging down. And you know, the boots look okay. I'm not a huge fan. And then the fact that he only has fists and no interchangeable hands, no weapons. I'm super disappointed with this character. I think he's kind of a waste of a character because we could have had somebody cooler or at least designed him a little bit better with, I mean, maybe we could have closed his shirt here and it would have looked a lot meaner and cooler than just some randomly showing a tucked in shirt right here. Um, the fact that he's clenching his fist everywhere he goes makes it look like he's a little bit in either pain or anguish or something. So um, nobody walks around just like this uh, the whole time. So. I'm not a big fan of that, but in any event, that's m my opinion. You may feel very differently, but let's set him over here. He's definitely taller than our other character. Let's take a picture of him. There we go. All right, moving on. Next, we have Marvel's Beetle. Now this figure definitely looks kind of cool. I'm a little bit excited about the way this one looks, but I am also disappointed in the fact that it looks like there's no accessories. Come on. Don't jip us on the accessories. These are not cheap toys. All right, so back here it says, when the battle for justice is underway, artificial enhancements make these villains stronger, faster, and even more of a threat. So this is the same thing for both of them. And let's get this bad boy open. Now there's been a, a few different characters who have been Beetle over the years. This one is the one most associated with Beetle. With this costume design. So this actually looks kind of cool. So let me set that aside for now and let's look at Vulture's other piece. So once again, looks the same but mirror image, right? Cool. And... I guess technically they're counting these wings as the accessories, but you know what I mean, like an accessory that can be held or worn uh, other than this, but all right, we'll take this for now. So taking a closer look, the mask is kind of cool, it was a little flimsy, but at least it held its shape. I do like the way this looks. Uh, I like how it looks like armor, that it crunches here, that it moves at the waist. At least you're winning points there. Thank you, Hasbro. Um, the boots, the color, the design. Yeah, I'd say this is a cool looking figure. Uh, yeah, I definitely dig it. Um, please tell me the arm can go straight. It can. He's definitely got some buff looking biceps here. And overall, looks pretty good. Let's see, these are big ones. And let me see what the picture looks like. I don't want to put them in the wrong way. Oops. 
Sorry guys, getting a little overzealous there. All right, so it looks like they go down like this, because you see there's the rim. So let's copy that. Down, let's just insert this here. I guess it's not supposed to go in very far. Then this one in here. That's fairly simple. It just feels like it should be in further in. I don't know. And then let's see. Oh, these little ab crunch areas is a little weak. So if we open this, I would assume this goes here. I guess that's as far as it goes in. I'm over here like trying to jam it in and wasn't going any further. Oh yeah, it does. Because that one went in further. All right, there we go. So, I mean, for what it's worth, oh, okay, good. These, like, they do move. And so do these. You move out and in. Oops, I pulled this one right out. Let's jam that bad boy all the way in there. So look, they have a joint right here, and then they have joints right here. So this looks pretty cool, you know? This kind of can move up and down like that. And wow, this pops out pretty readily. All right, I guess I can try to cram it in there a little bit more, but we'll leave it like that. And so, you know what? This figure actually looks pretty cool. I'll give it tons of credit for trying on this one. So, so far, the only one I'm really bummed out about was the tombstone character. I think we could have gotten the shocker from the movie instead. All right. Uh, I'm a little bummed that this beetle character, like his joints are a little bit loose. Joints are loose, so he's not really staying in the pose that I want him to stay in. Let's see. And then once again with the fists. Come on, we want something more than just fists. But, all right. Looks like because he's not uh, super like, there we go. At least we'll get that. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, that actually looks really cool. So here we go. Look at that. Let's move a little closer this way that way he's the only one in the shot. Ish. There we go. All right, and so, really cool. All right, and so who do we have left? Oh man, we have Marvel's Vulture. This is the last one in this set for this series, but we are gonna open the bonus two pack shortly. So here for Marvel's Vulture. A nefarious villain with his eyes set on ultimate technological dominance. Vulture suits up in an enhanced suit that makes him nearly unstoppable. Looks amazing. Definitely looks like this. Michael Keaton did a great job in the movie. You know, obviously, Michael Keaton's been Batman, he's been Birdman, and now he's been Vulture. He's all sorts of birds in superhero movies, right? So, we do have the pack. Wow, what's this? I guess to help it stand. So we have like this clear stand. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Set that aside. Probably because the wings are so big it needs help for him to stand. Wow, this looks really cool. Look at the like airbrushing gradient that it goes from this purple to blue. Man, that's actually a thing of beauty. It looks gorgeous. And look at the detail on this, and this probably just goes right into his back, but man, I am extremely impressed with this. And then of course, yeah, because this probably, oops, probably just goes right there. So let's get our action figure out. And let me say, whoever was responsible for the art design behind Spider-Man Homecoming, bravo was amazing. Like Vulture always looked cheesy to me in the comic books with his just like, 
His wings just attached to his arms, and he looked like, you know, pterodactyl. Well, this one actually, like, made sense. And looks super, super cool. Look at this helmet detail. Man, I can't say enough about how great this character looks. Look at that. Amazing detail. Look at this jacket. And then, of course, look at this. Articulation points everywhere we want them and need them. Uh, yes. Yes and yes. Okay, so we don't have just two fists. We have a fist and then something to hold, right? And he does not come with any additional accessories, but you know what? I'm going to forgive this one. So we move, we're able to move here and here. Look at these right here on these talons on these legs. So it looks like it does not move. What in the world? That's different. How come this one's like so loosely attached here? Oh, maybe it's coming out. There we go. I had to shove it back in. I was like, what in the world? Okay, well, that's interesting how it's on there. Um, I'm a little curious as to why the legs are a little bit weird. Because he's vulture, but he definitely looks like he has chicken legs. But in any event, this looks outstanding. And I'm curious. Oh, I think, okay, the wings are just going to sit on there in a moment, right? So... Let's see if we can get him to stand. He should because he's these, you know, these vulture talons right here are extremely big and wide. So we don't need much more than just a simple dynamic pose like that, right? That looks great. Awesome. All right, and so we're actually gonna set this aside because I know you want to see this build a figure already. However, we want to get the two pack open as well, right? So let's set them aside right here. And let's get our two pack open. This one we got at Ross. This was on sale. So they had this at the store for $40. Not cheap because each one of these would be 20 each with um, uh, Marvel Legends at the store, right? Between. $18.94 and like $23. Well, at Ross, if you go to Ross and perhaps Didi's discount, which is just about the same thing, this set was on sale for $8.99. Can you believe it? $8.99? One of these individuals doesn't even, like, it will cost way more than that. So, wow, I didn't even notice this little, like, blaster thing right here. All right, let's get him out. He looks very similar to the first Spider Man we opened. He's slightly, I think, lighter with the blue and so on, brighter. Um, we have a very similar head here. It's not the exact same. And looks like something's kind of a little bit off with this right eye. It's a line in there, so... I don't know if he's winking or it's a mistake. But, um... Yeah, but we have Peter Parker's unmasked. So let's get this bad boy open. Oh! Forgive me again. I'm just too excited. I want to open them before I've even read them. So let's go ahead and get some really cool action voice going. When criminals threaten the big city, it's up to Spider-Man to shut them down. But it's going to take more than a few webs to land these bad guys. Fortunately for Spider-Man, he's got a tech-powered strength of Iron Man on his side. Yes, yes, and yes. Look at how amazing these look. Spider-Man and Iron Man Sentry. If you'll remember, and I think it's Age of Ultron, uh, Iron Man comes to... Uh, lands where they're there to that battle fortress they're trying to take down in Sokovia and comes out of the suit there and says sentry mode and it stands there like they're watching his back protecting him so that looks super awesome let's get um spider-man out I know you're dying to see the spider-man and this iron man as am I okay first of all great job having these points of articulation so we can come forward you know how I feel about that all right, let's see if we can get the arm straight. We can. Outstanding. And then, tell me what you think about this head. Do you think this looks like Tom Holland? I think it looks close enough. You think? What do you think about this hairdo? I don't know, but the colors look great. This looks awesome. Well, we don't have additional hands other than this, so he doesn't have any accessories other than a separate head and then the little webs that go under his arms. You know, these little webs that go under his arms are a little optional. 
You don't have to have them under there. So you go like that. But, you know, I think I'll be okay. I'll be able to sleep tonight if I don't have them on there. See, they go like this. Looks all right, but they're definitely gonna just keep falling off if we keep like, if we wanna have an action scene with our with our action figure. Okay, so, you know, whatever. Looks great like that. But then as soon as we move, they're gonna be like, all right. So, all right, I'll leave them on there until they fall off. <laughs> now, if you have the whole set, like clearly we do here, we can use any of these Spider-Man uh, pieces that we've already accumulated over here, right? We could very easily swap this hand out. We could very easily swap that hand out, luckily. And we could very easily swap either of these heads or those heads. That's what's really cool. So as I mentioned before, I don't know about this head. Maybe this, uh, maybe this is why it's at Ross. Why does it look like I pushed my fingernail in there? Um, he doesn't look like he's winking. He looks like he's closing his eye because he got a piece of grapefruit squirted in there. So I don't know how I feel about this head. I'm a little disappointed because I don't feel like this is a totally cool action sequence head. So I probably would want to put this one on there instead. And if you'll notice closely, like, they're very, very different. At first glance, they're similar. But look how this one has lot deeper texture or this one's more artificial texture there they are different shades of red this one looks more like basketball texture and then the eyes are flawless on these right here but here this one's like different sizes so I'm not feeling this one I would if it didn't have that big crease right down the middle maybe so our Peter Parker definitely looks cool Uh oh we encountered this with the, the Thor Ragnarok um, Look, he's like super loose on here. On the Thor Ragnarok, when we had the, the two-piece set, he, um, those characters were a little more hastily made, it seemed. Now, it because Valkyrie was not like easily standing and she was loose, and so I wasn't digging that. So I'm going to take these out so it doesn't just look like armpit hair because of the way they move and I think this looks actually really cool look at that boom where can we have this let's just put it right here hmm Oh, we're knocking everybody over. All right. Well, he stood up for like a whole minute and then that was it. There we go. That looks super awesome. I wanna take a picture of that. That definitely looks cool. Okay, great. Let's set him aside right here. Let go, Peter. This is where we're kneeling over here. And let's look at this Iron Man Sentry. Man, the legs look big and beefy. So this one clearly is not gonna move at the waist. This one's gonna move at the rib cage, which, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of that because it looks less natural when you turn them, see? Now, at least we get to move, and overall it's still a movement, but it's so much less natural and then of course we can't really crunch the abs to get a more dynamic pose so this one does not move on the thigh it rotates here on this ball joint here which you know nothing wrong with that that looks cool this looks really awesome this double joint wow it almost looks like a pocket knife okay i found my first like i think i'm not a big huge fan of on this one now first of all let me just say before i say the things i don't like this character looks sick. Sick as in amazing. So I'm digging it. I love the detail on it. I love how it feels solid. I love the gold trim and the blue on the eyes. I'm loving this. I'm loving that. There's just a thousand things that I love about this character. So that being said, 
It does fall short in a couple places. Let's get this helmet out. And let's get this out. So, first of all, for nine bucks, absolutely you need to get it. There's no question. So let's pop the head off and let's at least show you what these two heads, how different they are. So this is reminiscent to where Tony Parker didn't know it wasn't really Iron Man. It was just a suit when he saved him from the lake, right? So this looks great in the leg. The problem is that we cannot lift the legs any higher than this. What in the world? This is as far back and as far out as they'll go. No way. This is Iron Man. He can't just be like stiff that much the whole time. So the fact that our knees go really awesome. But then again, also the, okay, I guess this does pivot, but it was just stiff. So that still pivots good. So this is a little loose right here on the rib cage. Hey, look. Um, let's see. But other than that, now, as I told you in the past, when we have Iron Man ones, if they have a little thing right here, they won't be able to bend all the way back. See how I've already like accidentally bent some of it already? It's because I wanted to push it further back than that. But because you can't shoot like this, Iron Man doesn't shoot like that. He shoots like this with an outstretched arm where this would be straight out like that and the hand would be back. Because he's not gonna, he's not throwing a yo yo. <laughs> or. <laughs> but, so that's why this is a little awkward. I'm a little dissatisfied with this. Because he's not gonna bend it out like that. But I guess it's the best we can do. If he's like, oop, I guess I didn't get the helmet on far enough in. There we go. Snap that time. Not that the helmet needs to turn if he's, no one's in there. But, um,. That's probably my biggest gripe. Otherwise, I'm digging the way this looks. Just unfortunate. There we go. The legs, the fact that they only move so much, that is definitely a disappointment and gets loses a couple points for me. And then the arm, of course. So, but the way this character looks is outstanding so guys we are almost done can you believe it almost done let's just put them right here for now hopefully we don't drop them all right and so now we have our build a figure pieces we have this and let me make sure I have them in the right order before I get overzealous Ugh, I can't reach Okay, so we have seven, so that's right there. Then we have six, which goes here. We have five, which goes here. Let's bring this further down so you can see. We have, what is this? Four. We have three. We have two. And we have one. All right, and let me make sure that they look like what we need them to look like. I hope so. Uh, 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 I don't think so. I think uh, there was a mistake, and we need to look just like this. So let's take a look first, because I put them in the order that we opened them, and it still didn't match. Okay, so we definitely know this one goes here, right? And we definitely know that, let's see, this comes down, looks like it comes down from here. Yep. Now, as far as that piece, what attaches there? I guess it would be this one, right? It is that one. Okay, great. That way we know, and then this one goes here, this one goes here. All right, let's get this built. First of all, Ooh, still not. <laughs> I 
I definitely don't want to make a mistake on this. So we have this, which goes here. Yep. Let's put this here. That looks really cool. Then this, which would go here, right? Because that would go there. Then this, which would go here. And that would go there. Oops, sorry Spider-Man, looks like he bit the dust. And it looks like this, which would go here. Yeah, well, it's looking like we're in business here. And this, which would go here. This one's a lot looser than this one. Oh, no, maybe not. So look at that. Let's bring this up here. Look how huge that is. And look how it goes like that. Oh, I'm knocking everybody over. All right, great. And then we're gonna put this right here on Vulture. Sure, that goes right in there. And let's see. This goes where to hold this up? Man, we're knocking everybody over. Take this slides on right here. Okay. I'm assuming that we can just we can put it up with or without our figure. And let me just say that this looks pretty awesome. Oh man, he just it's just huge, so like There we go. It's a great picture of everybody falling down there. So what do you think? Tell me if you think this looks amazing. Let me spread the wings all the way out. I'm gonna move our characters away for a minute. Give me one second. All right, and here we go. Look how enormous these wings are. Look at this wingspan. Doesn't that look sick? Looks amazing. So we threw some a couple new poses. We did another really cool one where Spider-Man is falling here, about to shoot some web before he hits the ground, which is really cool. Uh, we have beetle and tombstone and our Iron Man Sentry. We have homemade costume Spider-Man. We have the Iron Maid, I'm sorry, the uh, Tony Stark first Spider-Man suit that he made him. We have Moon Knight and then of course we have a Cosmic Spider-Man and then we have our Vulture with the Build-A-Figure wings. Tell me that does not look incredible, that it does not look amazing because it does. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining us here tonight. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed. Click on the little bell so you can get notifications when we have another new video. Guys, comment where you're watching from. Let us know which character was your favorite. And I can't wait to see you next time. We're going to try to still have a new video every morning for you. It's morning here, so morning is relative. But I'm going to keep trying, guys. Uh, it's a lot of work, but you're definitely worth it. So thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G.